In this video, I am going to show you what top-down analysis is and why it works so well, including relevant structure and not so relevant structure, as well as what a break of structure is and how it can be used to determine trend reversals and trend continuations. But just before we begin, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. In order to truly understand top-down analysis, one needs to master and learn structure. Structure is the single most important trading confluence and the strongest. As you have probably heard many say before, the trend is your friend. So let's go over what we mean by structure. So here is an uptrend, as clearly annotated here, and here is a downtrend. Now, what we mean by structure is this, is these labels that we have over here. So higher low, higher high, followed by a higher low, and then a higher high, and then a higher low again, and another one here, and then another um, higher high like this. Okay, so these are very important. For us to say that we are continuing with the trend, we need to have multiple breaks of structure. So a break of structure would be this. So where a higher low leads to a higher high. And then we get another one here. A higher low leads to a higher high. And then finally we get one more here. A higher low leads to a higher high. We have the same for this as well. So we have a lower high here, lower high here, lower high there and lower lows and we need to make sure that in this case we have our breaks of structure leading to we have lower highs then a break of structure leading to a lower low and the continuation tells us we are in a downtrend now a lot of people don't incorporate breaks of structure, but it's always important to, to mark it out on your charts so you know that this is what you're aiming for or you expect the market to do and continue with its trend. And it also helps with potential trades and trade setup. Okay, so now that we've gone over the theory, let's go over a real scenario where we can apply what we've learned to EURUSD on the monthly chart. So what I like to do is, I like to give you a little golden nugget. So when I do my top down analysis, I focus on fairly recent structure. So what I'm going to be focusing on is this structure here and we'll start marking out. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using colored dots to mark out structure because it's just easier to, to do so for me. And then it'll be easier for you guys to see what I'm talking about as well, rather than, you know, the whole of the chart being clouded with letters. So let's start off with, start off with yellow for the monthly time frame. So what we're looking for is we're looking for lows and highs and then some sort of trend forming. So if we look after this bearish impulsive move to the downside, we have a low, then we have a high. Okay, now this is very clear on the monthly time frame. And when it's clear like this and not too large, then we like it because it shows us nice, clean ranges on the monthly time frame for price. So we have a low, a high, we have a low here but as we can see price doesn't reach a higher high so this low here is invalid so we're actually in this price range so what i mean by price range is price is stuck within this these two prices and until we break out of it we will know which way price wants to go or which way structure is telling us price wants to go and as we can see we get a bearish breaker structure here so price breaks this low and what that tells us is that price should be moving to the downside. So we can move this over here. Let's get rid of that. And we are now in a bearish price range. So price goes from here to here. And until this low breaks, we get a breaker structure of this, or we get a breaker structure of this high here, um, we are bearish. Now, as we can see, price then rallies and breaks this high here. So let's take this and it breaks this over here. And now we get a bullish break structure. So price breaks the structure to the upside. And now we have a bullish pressure from here to the next high, which is over there. Let's remove this as well now. So 
now we are in this and that's what and that's the price range we are in at the moment on the monthly time frame so we are waiting for either this to break or this to break now remember the trend that i showed you last time we want price to trend in a nice fashiony manner and we're waiting for a bullish break structure and then price can just continue trending that way if we get a bearish one then we have to flip our price range again so now that we are in a price range and price hasn't broken to the downside or to the upside yet and we have no breaks to structure all we have to do next is drop down to the weekly time frame so from the weekly time frame what we're going to be looking at is from this area here now and we start to mark off our structure so let me just change my color to let's go red for the weekly and where can i mark my structure so i could start off let's say here we have a high i have let's say a low a high a low and i can just keep marking it because as we can see price is trending very nicely very you know correctively it's not nice clean price action but it's still trending to the downside so wherever i see lows and wherever I see highs okay now these lows and highs are very important for when price wants to break out of trend as you'll see right now okay boom okay so we get to this point and then price impulses away and breaks this structure now when we say a break a structure it has to be a lower high or a significant structural point and significant structural points are the ones that you mark out like this so price breaks this and now what we're going to do is we are going to change our bias to the upside so now we're looking for a bullish price range so it'll be from here to here so that's our bullish price range bullish to here but then what do we happens what happens we get a bearish breaker structure over here okay so price breaks this structure here and now we have a bearish price range again and then what does price do it goes and breaks this structural point now obviously this happened over a couple of weeks and it took a while so this was from December 19 to about July 2020 and this is how price acts sometimes you'll see this more commonly on the lower time frames but we can also obviously see this on the higher time frames such as the weekly as well and now what we can do is we can continue with marking out our structure from here we get the higher high the higher low the higher high so we have a higher low and then a higher high and then as we can see now we have price stuck in this price range until it breaks out to the downside over here so we get our bearish breaker structure over here price trickles down so now we are in a new bearish price range to about here so a very common misconception that a lot of people make is that they would mark out you know these points here as weekly structural points when actually they are daily structural points so if we go down to the daily time frame we can see they're a lot more clean and they you know are a lot better so you know going on to the daily now let's go with so we've done red we've done let's go green we got you know a high a low a high a low a low and i think just about price breaks this one here yep so we get breaker structure here to the left just so you can see it nice and clearly and now we have a new high so now price should be pushing to the upside so that is top down analysis on the monthly weekly and daily time frames so now that we've done some top down analysis how does this tie in to us taking trades so it's very simple actually so now that we've done it from the monthly weekly to the daily time frame and let's say you are a swing trader or you take trades for you know a moderate amount of time let's have a look at the trade opportunities that this will present to you so we know that prices is now in a bullish price range okay so we are expecting a pullback which we get now when we get this pullback what we're looking for is we're looking for areas of demand or in other words bullish order blocks so as we can see let's start to mark out some bullish order blocks so we've got one here we drag it down to the low oh, how's that gone up there so from here to there we also have a couple here you could possibly say this one here but the clearest one is this one so now 
we can drop down to lower time frames and refine this if we want to so let's say i use a gam box for this you know we've got let's do that to there to here now bear in mind this is bullish daily structure we can also do some top down analysis on the four hour time frame as well if we want to but just to show you guys very quickly of what sort of you know trade potential using structure can give you is let's say that's 16 pips let's add about a pip for spread or whatnot and there we go we're looking at a very nice trade now let's say we take price up to as we can see price is trending downwards like this we can take price to here as a target that's a one to seven or you know if you wanted it to here that's a one to 4.68 or whatever nearly a one to five and this is the type of potential that top down analysis using structure gives you now obviously you know trades like this happen very often and not all of them will win because you know let's say it didn't react from this order block it reacts from another one it still gives you very strong trades and this is why top down analysis is very important and it also makes your chart easier to read for yourself even if you you know you get onto your chart very early and there's a trade opportunity available to be taken straight away and it works on all different time frames as well you know we can see we can see this happen here for example right price is trending downwards we get a break of structure price is moving upwards the price comes down grabs uh, liquidity from um, a, a demand zone here and is pulling back up and it's doing what it's doing and that's why top-down analysis is very important now just to end off this video I wanted to keep it as short as I possibly can I don't like to make videos that are too long make sure to subscribe give this video a like and I'll see you in the next video if you have any suggestions for any new videos you'd like me to do just comment them below and I'll see you in the next one